For the first time that we had a chip using our multi-level cell, we put it into one of our Sansa players. And so I had this, the, the first prototype with MLC chip in the steel of the night. And I'm putting Verdi Requiem on that Sansa player and I'm listening to it. I just started crying because he was the most advanced technology. This is truly space age technology with the most fantastic music. So when I was 16 years old, I was in boarding school, was when President Kennedy made his Men on the Moon speech, which was unbelievably inspirational to me, and I would say probably one of the main factors in my you know, very strong inclination to pursue the, the physical sciences. My aunt tells me that my father would tell her Ellie is going to be somebody some, sometime, and he was very, very proud and had very high expectations. So I consider myself unbelievably fortunate to have come here as an immigrant, to take the risks, to be an entrepreneur, to be willing to suffer failures along the way. I went to evening classes in a local community college to understand the basic patent law. How, how do you file a patent? It was given by a patent attorney who gave these classes so that if you were an inventor, you'd go to him and he would file your patents for you. And it was very valuable in that regard. I started the company SunDisk on June 1, 1988. And on June 8th, eight days later, I filed the first patent for basically what we call today system flash. We were ridiculed by our competitors, and these are guys that are, you know, very entrenched. And what kept me going was, you know, very profound. The physics is correct, you've proven it, you have the data, and you're protected by the patent. At the end of the day is enough to stand your ground. The patent law is what fosters competition, but competition cannot run roughshod on the little guys that are the source of innovation. It's the wellspring of prosperity to society. If Verdi knew, Verdi had this Sansa and could listen to his own music played on this little device, he would think, that, you know, it's a miracle. To me, is what brought the power of our technology into reality.